and Coda are looking pretty good. We have vision, mission values. We have a team. Let's click on these pages really quick. We have um, vision, mission, and values. We have a team roster page. We have meeting notes with a meeting log, and we have some pages with all the meeting notes. We have an initiative tracker to track initiatives and tasks. We can even have Jira issues. We have projects. Um, same thing with on the on the Coda side, mission and values, team, um, meeting notes. So we're, it's looking like a really good team hub where you can centralize all of your team's knowledge and resources, information, great for onboarding. A next natural thing that you might wanna add is a calendar to your uh, team hub. Many people are using Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar. I'm gonna try to figure out a way to add native calendars to Confluence and to Coda in this, in this tutorial. And I'm gonna start in Confluence by adding a simple uh, calendar page. And you'll quickly see that there's really no way to add a native calendar, at least in the cloud version of Confluence. You can search for the templates the only kind of calendar that comes up is this content strategy one. So if I use this and take a look, it's not exactly what I want. I mean, this is great if you want to have a content calendar um, for content planning or whatever, but I just kind of want to have like a simple calendar that shows people's out of office dates and their, you know, I also want team leaders to be able to put important meetings. And let me try to see if there's any kind of macro here. There is this date picker, which we looked at in the initiative tracker part of this tutorial. There is the Jira issues calendar, but this is more tied to your um, specific Jira workspace if you want to look at issues there, but there's really no native calendar that you can add to Confluence where you can see people's out of office dates or vacation dates and just kind of a, get a central view of like what people are doing. Now, if you're still using Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, you can embed things into Confluence pages. Um, I did look, there are, there is an option to bring team calendars into Confluence, but it requires um, a premium subscription to Confluence. And you can kind of see here, I don't have a subscription, but you can see here in the screenshot of what a calendar looks like. We can look at some of their value propositions here. You can share calendars with people using, um, or you, sorry, you can integrate your, your favorite calendars like Microsoft Outlook, Calendar, Apple Calendar, etc. I believe you can also have team calendars and personal calendars. So you can kind of see a, a mix of people's individual dates as well as team level dates, custom views. Um, I think there's also really nice integration with Jira software. Um, so you can add dates related to your sprints, releases, custom date fields to your team calendar. But again, it requires a premium subscription to Confluence. And here's a quick look at the um, premium subscription for Confluence. Uh, it's about 10.50 a month, but I think it depends on also how many users you have, et cetera, et cetera. So um, nothing available on the free version of Confluence at the moment. Um, Apparently, according to this FAQ, team calendars used to be free or something like that, but it wasn't a, an official supported, officially supported feature from Atlassian. So they, you can see here, they started charging for this plugin because they are officially supporting it via this product page. Um, there are some workarounds I saw in this community thread on how to add a calendar to a Confluence page, but it still requires you to have a premium subscription because Basically in this this thread, you're saying that you should have a calendar option here in your left panel, but if you don't, that just means you're not on premium. There are of course other third-party plugins that you have to pay for, where you can add Google Calendar, for instance, into Confluence, which is probably what I do because I think um, all our team is using Google Calendar. And if your team is still stuck to using Google Calendar, this might be a potential option instead of upgrading to um, premium to get the Atlassian Confluence team calendar feature into your page. So TLDR, long story short, no native calendar um, support you can have in a Confluence, Cloud Confluence page in the free tier. So that's the page we have for our calendar now in Confluence, nothing to show there. Uh, let's go over to the Coda site now. I'm gonna create a new page. I'm going to call this 
this uh, calendar. And let me zoom in a little bit. Let me add a nice little calendar. So as, um, as you've seen with the other tutorials in this series, all of, um, all of Coda's core features really start with the table. And I'm going to copy and paste a table that has a bunch of calendar events from another doc. Um, I'm actually going to rename this to my count teams calendar. And let me just uh, disable collapsing. So just a few, look at a few things here. We have event type, which I'll talk about in a minute. People can add their events here. So you can see how John added an out of office, um, sitting out of office, team offset. This is kind of like a team event. The start date, end date. These are uh, calendar uh, date, date format col column types. This duration is actually a simple formula, which just take, basically takes the end minus the start date. So 415 minus 411 is equal to four days. Let's just look at these event types now. The reason why this event types table is interesting is because let's say your team has other types of events be types with, besides out of office event meeting. With these three, you get pretty far with your, with your uh, team roster calendar and your team hub. I'm just gonna set up this lookup so that it looks up to this event types table. So now if I want to add a new row, I can say, you know, I have an out of office or I have an event coming up for our team. You know, we have a QBR with a cup, uh, with a customer or something, 815 to 819, let's say. And so that is how you can build a basic team calendar. It doesn't look like a calendar yet. We'll talk about what it, how it can look more like a calendar in a bit. Um, you're probably not going to manage your team calendar like this on a table. So let's go over here. And what we're going to do is create a view off of our My Teams Calendar table, My Teams Calendar. So I have a, basically a view off of this calendar. I'm, I'm going to change this, this view layout to be a calendar type. And now I'm going to hide the title of this view. Now we have like a more calendar looking type of team calendar. And you can see here, all of these events now are just laid out right into the calendar. I can go back and look at uh, previous events. I can click on the calendar events, see this, see other information related to this event. And all this is basically this information laid out in a calendar. If I look at the options for this calendar, you can default to a week view, a month view. You can look at the default date for the first event, working hours, people display, all a bunch of options. I'm just going to focus on this for now and um, looking at the first event date as a default view. So you can kind of quickly look through and see what dates are coming up for a specific date. And if I just look at today, looks like there's a QBR and Al Chen is out of office next week. So that's how you can look at a team calendar in, in Coda. And I'm trying to see if there's any other things we should mention here about building a calendar in Coda. Yes, we can also make... This feature of using buttons I've talked about in previous tutorials in this series, what you can do is also add buttons to make this calendar a little more, this calendar page a little more interactive, engaging, and engaging for your teammates when they go to this team hub. So I'm actually just going to add um, a few buttons here from my other Coda doc just to make this a little faster. So let me just move this over here at team event. Okay. So what do we want to do with these buttons? We want to basically give our teammates the ability to quickly add, uh, add events to the calendar. So I'm going to click on this right click here and this, I'm not sure, this is all settings from a previous button. I'm just going to rename this or rename the change the table to be my team's calendar set this values, the event type is, sorry, the event type is going to be, let's just copy this over here, out of office. And let's see what we have here. We also have the event type. This is kind of a pre-filled formula. And let's see what happens when I click on this button. Actually, let me turn the row editing on for this one. So when I click on this button, a new modal will pop up. Yep, so it autom automatically puts my name and the out of office uh, 
abbreviation inside the title. Text, I'm just going to say 15 to 19 again. Actually, let's make this the following, uh, following week, 822 to 826. And now that shows up on the calendar right here. The reason why this name pre-filled, this event pre-filled is because in my event val column, I told Coda when I press this button, I want the format of the text to be um, palm tree. And then the first value should be the user's name followed by dash and then followed by out of office. I could also put hooray here. And let's say, let's add another out of office for the following week. See how it says hooray for 29 through the second. And now I have another out of office here. And uh, yeah, that's another, that's just one way to quickly, quickly adding your out of office. Um, for the add a team event, let's say you're adding team events here, but let's change this to my team's calendar. This is going to be event type of event. And so let's say I want to add an upcoming team offsite. Oops, I can I want to turn on the row editing here. Team offsite, I can say team offsite happening on the 24th through the 26th of August. And you can see here, this gets added right here. You can see all the details that I added about the offsite. The important thing again is that all this information gets added to this underlying table here along with these event types, which come from this event types lookup table. So generally speaking, if you want, you could probably just collapse these views or these tables rather. So you don't have to see the full detail about the list because most people just want to see this kind of unified calendar that looks like a calendar instead of a list of events. So that's how you can build a simple team calendar in, well, in Confluence, you'll have to have the premium subscription to Confluence in Atlassian. And then Coda, you can just use a simple table and use the calendar layout to view your team calendar in your team hub.